Okay then guys, this is Richard from Welshie Tech. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is the review of the Burst Assassin from Thermal Right. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the benchmarks now and then we'll get into talking. So, continue to watch the benchmarks that come in now. So, when it comes to the benchmarks, we have um, a set of them. We have Cinebench. We have Cinebench R20, R23. A64, we have performance test, we have 3D Mark, CPU test, that's the CPU profile test, we have Fire Strike and we have Time Spy, as well as Port Royal. Now, this video as well, it is uh, showcasing the Cooling Monster Thermal Paste. Right, so let's get to the benchmarks. Right, so for Cinebench R20, we had an idle using Cooler Monster Thermal Paste at 33 celsius and we have a 66 max but you are uh, right that's the cooler monster uh cinnamon jar 23 we had 33 celsius at idle and a 66.9 celsius at max ada 64 was 34 celsius at a max at 72.6 ada 64 does put a lot of um load on the cpu so that's why the temps are quite high performance test um that it was an idle at 33 the max was at 67.4 celsius 3d mark cpu test idle 35 the max was 70. uh the 3d mark fire strike was 35 celsius max was 57.6 celsius times by it was 36.1 celsius and it was a 62 the 62 celsius on max now for port royal we had a 34 celsius at and max was 44 celsius now what we've done is i redid the benchmarks and i did it for just the included thermal paste that comes with thermal right thermal paste so for that was a 32 on cinebench r20 it was a 32 celsius idle and 66.6 celsius but on the graphs it shows at 67 uh cinebench r23 was a 32 and a 67 celsius then a to 64 they were both run for five minutes on a stress test uh this was 34 idle exactly the same but the max was interesting because it was almost two degree difference there was a 72.6 and then there was a 73.5 almost almost it was a, a, a one and a half uh, a degree and a half difference in that that could have been um could have just been a margin of error but i ran them both attempt for five minutes and that's the results now performance test uh temps were idle at 33 max with 30 at uh, uh, 67.8 3d mark cpu test was 31 celsius by a strike it was exactly the same maybe half a degree which was a 35.9 celsius on idle for the included thermal paste so that's almost a degree difference and then for the max was a 57 exactly the same times by it was 37 celsius on idle and 62 on max now port royal was quite of a uh, quite weird Port Royal because it was literally the same there was a 34 and there was a 44 there was no difference there was no difference whatsoever so that's the results now what we'll do is I will show you the uh, egg the cooler itself and then we'll get to the talking and tell you my opinion so, continue to watch.
what I uh, like to say about this is I do like the Burst Assassin from Thermal Right. It is a very nice looking cooler. Um, the Mountain is exactly the same as the PLS Assassin, which if you've seen any of my videos lately, the PLS Assassin was one of the best performing uh, air coolers. And at the moment, it's on sale at £50. Uh, you can get it cheaper, but the one I found was from Thermal Right themselves. £50, the performance of that was right up there with the uh, Dark Rock Pro 4 from Be Quiet. So, this now is, you've, probably, you've just seen the video now what it looks like. Now, the mountain mechanism is similar to what Noctua does. Now, it's a good mechanism, but be careful when you're pulling this off the CPU because even me, who has tested loads of CPU, uh, CPU coolers, I've pulled the C CPU at the socket, even after uh, preheating the thermal paste. So it was quite interesting to see that. But as a build quality aspect, this is a very good looking cooler. The RGB is very nice. Um, the grey aesthetics is very nice as well. The clips of the fans, they're a bit annoying, but they're much better than some I've seen. The RGB, uh, the RGB connection is quite long, but the only thing I didn't like was the length of the um, PWM. If it was a little bit longer, and if you run a uh, PWM fan split or something at the back, you could have easily just plugged this up with that. But other than that, it fits perfectly. The ARGB is very nice. The over overall build quality of this air cooler is nice it's got a flat surface at the bottom and then it's just i mean i love the look of it the look of it is really nice now the performance is fantastic uh this will be cheaper than the pls assassin i believe this is a 30 pound cooler so for what i've seen out there you've got the um the upper fan uh the upper air coolers there's the uh ventus 2 and uh, no ventus 5 that one's on there for 30 pound from what i've seen this is up there with them fantastic price fantastic performance and also remember that this <coughs> is lga lga 1700 ready it ready comes with a bracket inside which is bought here comes with lga 1700 in the box directly so that's my review of the Burst Assassin from Thermal Right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got more products, more reviews coming. And this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.